Right, hello, good morning everyone. Um, it's about quarter past eight on Friday the 24th of October 2008. This is the first of two videos about our efforts in the CQ Worldwide DX SSB contest in 2008 at the Cambridge University Wireless Society. Um, this video we're going to be showing you some of the equipment that we were using and then we'll actually show you the contest in the other video. So, as I said, it's Friday morning, um, and I've been here for about an hour already, um, just l l sorting out some of the equipment and uh, tidying up the shack a bit. But this has just got, got sort of reasonably light to film in. Well, here we are in the shack now. Um, one of my first jobs this morning has been uh, to update the copy of Wintest here on the uh, shack computer. Um, a little later on I'll be installing the network in here, and uh, Wintest can be a bit temperamental if uh, even minor versions are different across the network so it's important to have all the network uh, computers running the same uh, same version so um, there isn't any internet here so it's uh, come across on my pen drive with me and uh, that's my first job of the morning so the first bit of the antenna work was actually done here at the farm last weekend um, you should be able to see behind me uh, some of the uh, 40 meter four square which uh, the team put up then. And here we have the control box for the four square. The main task today is to erect the four element monobander for 20 meters on the 85 foot trailer tower that has been generously loaned to us by Mark G4AXX. To our great surprise, and despite several years of storage, the antenna is resonant first time at 14.16 MHz. Super! <laughs> Don't believe it! <laughs> Look at that! With this success, we're now able to raise the tower. On the 85 foot tower, a four element monobander for 20 meters, and also a set of slopers for 80 meters. Coming round to the 60 foot tower, we have the packet cluster link, the stepper three element multiband Yagi and also rotating dipoles for 40 metres and 30 metres, of course 30 metres not used in the contest. The 60 foot tower also supports the 160 metre dipole. On the 40 foot tower we have the weather station to tell us the wind speed in the shack via radio control and also a TH5 multiband Yagi. Behind that 40 foot tower we then got the Butternut HF2V for 80 meters and 40 meters. And then in the adjacent field, a four square array for 40 meters. Okay, hi everyone, it's uh, now about quarter past nine in the evening. Um, We've just finished sorting out all the antennas and uh, getting all the computers networked and uh, wind tests working properly 
So we're now heading back in the car to go and get some dinner and uh, the night time crew will be starting at 12 o'clock UTC tonight. Okay, so here we are, uh, early morning on uh, Saturday the 25th of October 2008. Let's um, uh, take you into the shack and uh, show you some of the equipment we're using. This is the run station. We have uh, the quadrilinear and a bandpass filter that's controlled by the rig's band data, so it's always on the correct band. We're using FT1000MPs because uh, many of our operators are familiar with this rig. And we have here an MFK digital voice keyer to try and save our voices. Logging is with wind test. In between the operators we have the rotator for the 20 meter monobander and below that the rotator for the TH3. Next to that the stepper rotator and above the PSU we have the rotator for the 40 meter array and then the controller for the stepper. Here on the mold station, we're also using wind test with an FT1000 MP, but this time we have a Tokyo high power linear, and again the bandpass filter. Next to the mold station is the 80 meter sloper control, a packet cluster link on 4 meters, and the PSU. Obviously the setup leads to some problems with ergonomics, as different operators have to lean past each other to be able to uh, get to the correct switch, so that's something we need to try to sort out next year. Uh, probably the most interesting uh, thing in the shack this year was the fact that we've forgotten a, a foot pedal for the PTT on the malt station, and so we ended up using uh, the CW paddle. Mike for Alpha.